Hey everyone, I'm Joe. Hi, I'm Tiffany. I'm Bart. I'm Gio, and you're watching Ask the Feel. And today we have a question from Samwise. Oh, is that really so? Hey guys, my girl and I are in a long distance and loving relationship. She doesn't believe she's beautiful or attractive no matter what I say, and this is mainly because of what her sister did long ago. She admits she wants her gym trainer to be into her. She admits she wants other guys wanting her. She goes to the gym hoping one day she can show off her body to random guys. I feel emasculated, you know, that she requires these other guys' approval when she has me. I'm having trust issues and she's not helping. She knows she's being shallow, but says it's something she needs to do. I disagree. I don't know if this is a healthy relationship. Damn. Dude, that's fucking st yeah. Dude, drop this girl, man. Fuck, she got mad fucking issues, dude. Yeah, she's treating you like a puppy on a leash. Like, yeah, fuck that. She's using that. you for entertainment when she wants you. She's going out and she's all like, man, I'm gonna have all these dudes just wait. When I upgrade away from you, she's gonna fucking leave you. When she starts getting attention from way better guys in her point of view. Yeah, why is she treating you like a homie? Like, that's the homie conversation. Like, yo, I can't wait to look better so that like guys can find me hot. Like, that's the conversation you have with friends. Like, yeah. you're not her friend, you're her man. Like, if anything, she should only care about what you yeah. think. If someone recognizes where the problem came from and they already acknowledge that the problem is there, and they don't choose to fix it, that's just them using that as an excuse from now on. You can use something as an excuse or that can actually be the reasoning if you don't know what the cause is. But if you know that your sister traumatized you or and she made you look feel ugly and you know that is what causes you to want to go and, and show off or whatever, then you already know the cause of that problem and you can no longer use that as, as an excuse because you mm -hmm. recognize that the problem is there and it's up to that girl's laziness if she wants to change it or not. That's a shit behavior, man. Yeah. Her yeah. behavior is a fucking bag of dog shit that's been sitting out for a long, long time, yeah. baking in the motherfucking sun. Her fucking behavior is garbage. This particular case, follow your instincts because everything that you're feeling, those feelings are 100% valid and everything that you express to us, 100% you're in the right. Um, but I feel like your mind is now like making excuses as to why reality isn't how it really is. Everything you've expressed, how you're feeling, de feeling demasculated, knowing that it's unhealthy, these are all like very strong terms and red flags in my opinion. Um, and I feel like you already know the answer. Yeah, because it's the same thing as like I say, oh, you know what, my parents beat my ass. That's why I'm going to beat my kid's ass. It's like as soon as I acknowledge that my parents have beat my ass, and that's causing this vicious cycle in me, then it's up to me to cut that cycle immediately so that I don't repeat it. I can't use that as a crutch. And if that's what she's doing, then she's wrong. So long. She's just playing you at this at this moment. Like Joe says, as soon as she gets enough confidence, you're just gonna be old news, and you'd be lucky if she even sends you a text to say, hey, it's over. This is her? Drop that bitch. Yeah. I agree. Fucking, you fuck the shit. Fuck, I hate girls like that, man. Tell them, tell them. Why do you hate them so much? Because they are so mean, you know? They don't even care about how you feel and shit. Did someone ever do that to you? No, I could just imagine. I could just be in this guy's shoes and then I'm just like, but you're fucking cute though. And they're like, no, I'm not. I'm not cute unless a thousand guys on my fucking Instagram says I'm hot. You've never been with a girl like that. No. I can't. If I do, I'm gonna go to jail because I beat her. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that last episode. Make sure to leave a comment below. Let us know what you thought of this episode. Did you like it? Did you agree with our advice? Or did you disagree? Did you have better advice? Make sure to leave it down below in the comment section. Alright guys, and if you want to see any more episodes, guess what? You can check it out right here. So meaning like guys, they could watch porn, they could be like, okay, I think I'll like doggy style, I think I'll like this or whatever, right? But then there's not much porn out there that actually shows positions like work for the girl. That's what lesbian porn is. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's what they gotta do, watch that. But then she also has to understand her own body and then guide the guy how she wants it instead of expecting him to know what to do. Because the guy's gonna do what he, it feels good for him, not so much what feels good for the girl. And he's gonna think he's killing it. What is what's different between lesbian porn? I mean, obviously that there's two girls, and.